Hey guys, we're here in Ennaka. So excited because it's been on my LA bucket list for a long time. So this is the first thing I bought once I knew that I was flying to California. And Naka is a two Michelin star tasting menu restaurant. For $285, you get a 13 course traditional kaiseki. You also have a vegetarian menu at a cheaper price, but of course I'm doing the traditional one. So let's go! Hey guys, so we're in our table. It's pretty intimate here. Say hi. Hi. We're here at Ennaka and hi. Zen. We're so excited Zen. to try Relaxed this out. It's simple. It's been in our bucket list for a few years. <laughs> Cheers. Stop a sec, no? Um, for our first course, Hakizuke, we have a dish. Uh, Inspired by a traditional Japanese crab and vinegar dish, snow crab paired with roasted asparagus puree, a pickled ginger tapioca, minced ginger, and on top we have a soy sauce wheel. Next to that, that little egg there, when you remove the lid, you'll find a chowan mushi. So a savory steamed egg custard, the little yuzu cream and caviar. Mm -hmm. So you have a small mother of pearl spoon on the right for that one. Oh, Nestled in the center there is a tempura enoki mushroom. You'll find a small squeeze of lemon on the bottom right for that. This is a Victorine de Chastenay Cremel de Bourgogne. So lovely sparkling wine coming from Burgundy, France, all done in a traditional shape. Campaign method. All right, enjoy. So that has time to kind of deepen and rich it in the tank, mature a little bit, give up some more kind of uh, full dried fruit notes. So starting with what you have on top, cut into the shape of chrysanthemum, you have hikama, turnip, and chayote. Beneath the hikama and the turnip is hotate, so Japanese sea scallop from Hokkaido. And then beneath the chayote, you find a vinegar-based dashi jelly called tosazu. So you can break apart that little jelly, dip some of your scallop into there. Um, but also has added condiments on the side. At the top, this is an Okinawa sea salt. So the chef recommends just a little pinch of that on the scallop on its own, kind of bring up its natural sweetness. And then this is a dried California chili oil. You can take a little bit of everything together and dip it in there. In the center, that's nasturtium leaf and ice plant. And those are both edible as well. you here, uh, Oregon State Matsutake Mushroom. It's a very small season for that. That's featured inside the bowl alongside Thai, which is Japanese sea green, and Mitsuba green. Next for you here, this is going to be a kaori Jinmai Ginjo by Yamagata Brewery in Yamaguchi Prefecture. A much more light, smooth style here, very clean, airy finish to it. This is your uh, otsukuri, so a more traditional sashimi plate for you now. Bottom left is magoro bigai tuna, at the top is kampachi yellowtail, at the bottom right is sawada, king mackerel. A little fresh ground wasabi on the lip of the bowl, soy sauce blended with the house dashi, a little bit of sake in there.
Yabada Hoten in Gifu Prefecture. This is near Tokobetsu Junmai called Everlasting Roots. So very kind of earthy and savory, a little bit nutty, a little bit more you know, full to go with your cooked food. This is a 2018 Schlossgut Deal Cabinet Riesling from Naha, Germany. Really Riesling cheers. Cheers. Holiday cheers. cheers. This is your Mushimono. So your steamed course for you now. Uh, in the center, this is a shrimp and uni shinjo, lobster shinjo. Here. This is a 2018 Dolman Chevy Chouet Chardonnay from Merceau in Burgundy for you there. This is your Shizakana course. So this is Chef Ricky's famous dish. Mm. This is the only item that's on the menu year round. You have spaghetti, Monterey abalone, black truffle, and mentaiko. Mm. Here, this is a 2019 Ludi Cabernet Franc from Lompoc in Santa Barbara County. Okay, this is your nisu. It's your meat course. So this is a ribeye cut of A5 Wagyu from Miyazaki in southern Japan. That's been dressed with a pomegranate and beef jus. You have spinach puree and arugula salad with Tokyo turnip cooked in Wagyu fat. Of course, is your sunomono. It's a nice little palate cleanser before your main course of sushi. You have Japanese cucumber, tomato, and aloe vera. To the side here, really delicious. Yuzu omoi. It's a very light yuzu sake from Kyoto. Enjoyed from Lakurei, Yakimenai, Buri, and Toro. Akishika is the brewery in Osaka Prefecture. This is an Okada Kuchi. It's a super dry sake. It's a really big, bold, very rice driven. bit of sushi for you here from left to right. On the left you have aji, horse mackerel. In the center is kamasu, baby barracuda. And then on the right you have Santa Barbara, uni, and ikura, so sea urchin and salmon roe. Mm -hmm.
first dessert for you here. This is a pomegranate and ginger sorbet with pressed quince and a pear and sake granita. Yes, we have our last course and second dessert. Uh, we have crimson crab apple filled with apple butter. The flavor of the ice cream tonight is fig leaf ice cream with balsamic reduction. On the very bottom, we have rice krispies and white chocolate ganache crumbles. And the leaves that you see on top are also made out of dehydrated apple leaves. Wine to go along with dessert here, sir. This is a 2017 cracker Baron Auslese Cuvée from Burger. Finland, Austria. Mm. So mostly a late harvest Chardonnay. Mm. For the petite four, they give hazelnut bonbon, and it also comes with matcha tea on the side. So they also give you a box of treats to take home for the next day. So this is Sencha Matcha, and then here is carrot cake with apricot. Yeah, it's such a great. Oh yeah. Very good. Happy to have you. Yeah. From Toronto. This is on my bucket list. Yeah. yeah. I was so happy that we got the reservation. Thank you. Have a good time. I did. Yeah. It's such a great. Yeah.